Five o'clock, we'll do the update. Who is it today? Bob, hello, hello, Bob. How are hello, you, Bob? You? I'm good, Dog Bird. How, How are things you? things going? I see Fairfield lost to Yale last night. Go figure. They had Georgetown in trouble. They had the fifth-ranked team in the country in trouble on Saturday and turn around and give one away last night. I can't figure Everything it out. Everything you touch, Bob. Yeah, everything I touch. Hey, uh, Fairfield lost to Yale Doesn't. last night, Mike, in, co in college basketball. How is that possible? Uh, Bob Kelly. Well, Yale's pretty good. Let's not knock uh, they're the an Bulldogs. Ivy, they're an Ivy League school, Bob. Rollins give Yale a run for their money. I doubt that. A bunch of CEOs Bob aren't supposed to beat you, you know? <laughs> They're good. Yale's good. They're the second place choice preseason in a tough Ivy League. Oh, Bob. All that being when said, you, though, when, Fairfield. When, when you say you had Georgetown in trouble, what was it, 2-2? Two, two? What do you mean trouble? 3-2 down. They, got, <laughs> they hit a tray. What does that Fairfield, mean? To... They hit a tray Fairfield, off a long rebound. They were within one point. They were down one point with six and a half minutes to play. Is it a ball? I love you, Bob. No, they played they play very well on Saturday. They actually gave Georgetown a good game. I love you, Bob, I love you. Bob, I, 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 we heard that the Mets are getting Santana. They're giving up right and <laughs> right, Reyes. Right and Reyes. <laughs> yes. No deal. Five o'clock. Yeah. Listen to Mike, though. Here's Mike uh, trying to downplay the fact that the Yankees are out. That's okay. We're the underdogs. I don't mind. And, you know, a little underdog is okay. You yeah. know, it would be a little engine that could for a change. Say something funny, Bob. Well, the fact is that if it was the other way around, if it had been the Mets in this position, with, say, the equivalent of Phil Hughes and uh, name the other prospects, and they didn't make the deal and the Braves did, then, and believe me, there would be a much different spin on this. Guaranteed. Oh, that's not fair. Bob is prepared. Is. Look at him. He's prepared. Now, that's not fair. Bob is annoyed. He's prepared. Go no, ahead, that, Bob. That's, continue. No, that's not fair, Bob. No, well, come no, on. No, it's true. You know it's true. No, no I, I want the Mets to get if, Santana. They might have if to the borrow Mets, a couple of prospects to get him from some other team. If the Mets had offered the equivalent of a Phil Hughes and a Melky Cabrera right. and a couple of mid-level prospects got in the way of killing that deal, right. you guys would be killing the Mets. Would it be absolutely, Mike, you'd be all over. But what it's not it's not a middle-level prospect. Bob, I've been, out of, I've been out of Yankees, Bob. Don't get on me. Oh, I know. I, I, but it's I not know. a middle-level middle -level prospect that's killing a deal. That's how I understood it. No, I think it's... It's Austin Jackson, and uh, who else was it well, that got in the way? It's, it's Ian Kennedy. Well, supposedly he's out of the mix now. And then it's the Jackson-Horn tandem. Sounds like they're out of All the right. mix, too, if you listen to Madden today. Well, Madden's got them going for basically green stamps <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Here's Bob's flash. Well, yeah, Pinella managing the Yankees, too. <laughs> he still does, yeah. Thank you, Adam Katz, on that. Here's our pal, Bobby, Sports Radio 66.